Hello and welcome to Country with Celine. I'm your host, Celine Schmerke, and for today's episode, we have the dynamic country duo, Jess and Tay. How are you both doing? Doing great. How are you? Thank you so much for having us. Anytime. How about you, Tay? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's great. Um, okay, first things first. Let's start off uh, with the big one. It wasn't you. You guys just released that. How are you guys feeling about that? We're feeling super excited. Um, we've said this a million times and we'll say it a million more times. We're just super, super excited for these songs to come out for you guys we just feel like we finally found our sound and we finally have music that we're super super proud to share so red roses in his head on the front porch tells you mama you'll be back by 10 if only that's how it happened because i wish i would have known that you Awesome. Um, and now, listening to the song, obviously I'm getting a relationship type of vibe from it. So were you guys basing this song on past experiences or was this something that's kind of happening right now to you? How did that, how did the song come about? Um, before we brought it into the studio and did, you know, rewrites and production and changes on it, it was literally just you know, a story that I wrote about past relationship of mine. Um, yeah, because I think that it's universal feeling, you know, for those who have had prior relationships. Like, you don't really know that that person's not for you until they're not in your life anymore. Mm -hmm. I can vouch for you on that one. Um, so are you guys going to make a music video for this anytime soon? Or because of COVID, it's kind of hard right now? Yeah, I think right now we're just going to kind of like keep promoting the song. We'll probably do like a lyric video, but um, we just think we might like wait on a music video and just see what happens. But yeah, it's kind of hard with COVID right now and like all the restrictions. So a lyric video for sure, though. Okay, yeah, I know with COVID, a lot of restrictions have been going on. It's kind of a bummer, but I mean, we have to stay positive, obviously. Um, so let's just backtrack a bit here. Jess and Tay, how did the duo start up? What was the core reason? Where did it start from? Let's start from the beginning. Well, we, some people might not know um, if they're new supporters of us, but we actually met in school. So we went to Humber College together and we were in the Bachelor of Music program. And we actually met at a two day like prep course for our audition and yeah, we just connected that weekend and we decided if we both got in, we would be roommates. And then we just started playing and writing together and living together. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, so you guys had um, a little house like right beside Humber College? Yeah, we had two houses actually. <laughs> oh, that's so neat. How long is the program there for um, the music program? The program's four years. Oh, wow, that's a lot longer than I would have thought. Yeah, pretty intense, but it, w it was good. That's great. Um, so what influenced you guys to get into music? I guess we can kind of answer separately because I'm sure we have different answers, but um, I think for me, it was just kind of, I was always like really into singing around my house and then it never really became a serious thing until um a teacher at my Montessori said to my parents like you should get your daughter singing lessons like she's always singing in class you should just do that and then 
I just kind of ended up like loving it, obviously. And then um, I picked up the guitar and then yeah, the rest was history. The rest was history. How about you, Jess? I have been, I love to write since I was younger. I used to write poetry and stories. I started doing that at a young age and then my cousin actually, she's a year older than me and you know, your older cousin, you want to copy everything they do. So she took singing lessons. So I was like, mom, I want to take singing lessons. And then, yeah, I started turning those poems into songs and like Tay said, the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. Well, you guys just definitely decided to go down uh, the right path and it really launched you guys into um, the country music uh, industry after your big stage performance at Boots and Hearts as the emerging artist back in 2016. That's crazy. Congrats to you guys. How grateful are you both for that experience? I think that experience was probably one of the best things that has ever happened to us as a duo. Um, it was, not a lot of people know this, but it was our first full band performance ever. So we had never performed together on a stage. That was the first time we ever did it. So it definitely gave us the confidence to keep going. And we, like when a lot of people showed so much love and support after that, we really were like, oh yeah, we can do this. So it was definitely helped us like launch our career for sure. Well, that's amazing. That was the first time you guys were on a stage in front of like the whole crowd too with a band behind you. Wow, kudos to you ladies. Um, and now you guys claimed um, a spot on the lineup for, which would have been the 2020 Boots and Hearts. Now it's pushed to the 2021. I hope it happens this year. Fingers crossed for sure. And you guys, Friday is a jam-packed day. You guys will be performing alongside of even John Langston. Chris Lane is going to be one of the headliners, Dan and Shay. So that's amazing you guys are gonna rock the house so 2020 was like a really big year for you guys you guys were even nominated for um cmao duo of the year you guys were alongside um james barker band uh the western swing authority and eventually the category winners of the rec laws but you guys are really making your mark um in this industry so what are your what would you say are your ultimate goals as musicians as a duo i should say I think that one of our main goals is just to have our music, you know, reach an audience that, you know, they can relate to our, our music and, you know, feel something from our lyrics and ultimately to just, you know, connect with us. Like a lot of our conversations when putting out the new music that we have is that we want everyone to really get to know us. Because sometimes when you're in this type of industry and you're in this light, it's not that you're not being who you are, but you kind of put on a show as well because, you know, you're like a stage performer and we really just want to know us. So I think that one of our main goals is just to reach everyone and have them connect with us and have our music be able to be a full-time career for us. And especially when you write songs on a personal level, a lot of people can relate to that. Um, so speaking of songwriting, since you guys are a duo, I would love to know, how does these songs come about? So let's say, Jess, you have an idea. Do you like call up Tay right away and say like, hey, I have this idea. Like, what do you think about it? Or like when you're writing, do you guys usually write together or is it more separate? I think we both, we do a lot of both actually like sometimes as a songwriter you'll get an idea and the song will pour out of you really quickly so for something like that because we're not together all the time we both will have ideas and we don't want to lose it so you just you put it pen to paper and you worry about everything later mm -hmm. but yeah definitely I have ideas all the time where it's maybe just a title or like a melody or a verse and you know we'll send it back and forth to each other and then work on it together yeah, lots of voice notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kudos to voice notes. I know, I feel you guys on that one. Um, okay, so maybe this one over here, this question can be more of a personal, like you can answer Tay, then you can answer um, Jess. Who were your musical influences and growing up? Who did you like to listen to a lot? Uh, growing up, I loved the Dixie Chicks and Avril Lavigne. So those are like two like way end of the spectrums, but 
I just feel like, I don't know. I never really have like a set like genre that I like to listen to. I really love to listen to like every kind of genre, but I did always go more towards country music growing up. Um, the Dixie Chicks were definitely my favorite, but yeah, Avril Lavigne was actually my first concert I ever went to. So that was definitely one of my influences as well, just in like the pop genre too. Yeah, kind of like Tay, I, I listened to everything. I actually, I always loved country, but it wasn't always where like I saw my music, I guess, um, until I started uh, playing and writing and singing with Taylor. Like everyone throughout my life always told me that I had a twang and I was like, okay. Um, like I listened to a lot of old school stuff. My parents love stuff like the Beatles and Queen and ABBA, like I live for ABBA. They're everything to me. So yeah, I don't know where the country came from, but um, I'm happy about it. <laughs> okay, and now what do you guys enjoy most about being an artist? What's something that you just know this is what you're meant to do and you just enjoy it so much? Tay? Um, I think personally, and I'm sure Jesse will probably say something similar, but like being able to play shows live for people is probably like the best feeling in the world. Like even if it's in a little, little bar and there's like five people there, like nothing beats playing, whether it's a cover that people really love or even if they like love one of your originals and you get those vibes from them, it's just like, you get like chills thinking about it because it's just like nothing you, you don't want to do anything else other than that. So it's definitely one of the things I miss the most about being a performer and an artist as well is, is playing live. That response really makes me want to be a country artist now too. To feel that and to experience that, that'd be amazing. Um, so it's 2021, new year, fresh start. What's next for Jess and Tay? Well, um, we just released our new single, as you mentioned earlier, It Wasn't You, is available everywhere, so that's super exciting. We actually also have another single coming out March 19th. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm. Um, you heard it here so, first. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, super exciting. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then hopefully all the shows that are happening this summer, we have a lot of new content, new ideas, new songs that we're so excited to share with everyone. And hopefully we can share them in person on stage. <laughs> hopefully that's the goal here. Um, and just going back, since you guys were talking about It Wasn't You, I was recently on your Instagram page today. And you guys have started up a new series, It Wasn't You, Wine Wednesday. How did that happen? First of all, that's going to be amazing. Ladies night, drinking wine, talking about past relationships, do's and don'ts. I'm all for that. But whose idea was this? That was Taylor's idea. I will give the credit to her. Um, yeah, she just brought it up to me one night and I was like, yeah, we should do that. We should definitely do that. Definitely <laughs> yeah. do that. That's straight good content over here. Yeah, um, we wanted to do something that like kind of we could like promote our new song, but also just like talk to people and like just be there and like have like conversations. Cause I feel like, and like Jesse said before, we wanted to like show a lot more about just who we are as people. So that's why we have like a few other things coming where it's just like us more like talking to people or like doing things that aren't so much related to music, but just kind of so that people can get to know us on a more personal level. Mm -hmm. That's always the best to get to understand the artist on that personal level because it makes you feel so much more connected to them. Um, so before I let you guys go, Country with Celine, Rapid Fire, I'm going to shoot you guys a couple of questions. Quickest answer, whatever comes to mind, just blurt it out right away. We'll start in order. So I'm going to say let's do Jess and then Tay so we don't crisscross over here. Um, so first thing uh, let's ask is what's your favorite thing to do on an off day? Sorry, it froze. Oh, no problem. Sorry. <laughs> favorite thing to do on an off day? Um, watch TV. <laughs> Tay? Watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you hesitate on that one? I don't know. I didn't want to say the same thing. I wanted to say something different, but then I couldn't think of anything <laughs> I would do. Um, okay, favorite song, if you can think of one. 
Um, I've just seen a face by the Beatles. Uh, All Yorn by Tyler Childers. <laughs> Favorite TV show? Of Vampire Diaries or One Tree Hill. Uh, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD. <laughs> Wow, that is two opposite spectrums that we're going on with the TV shows. Um, I can getting a Caroline uh, vibe from you guys, too, I guess, with the blonde hair going on. Uh, <laughs> Queen, yes. Favorite dish? Like food? Yes, food, yes. Uh, soup, any type. Um, French fries, all the fries. <laughs> McDonald's, all the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dream collaboration. Uh, Dan and Shay. Shania Twain. Ooh, those are both good picks over here. Dan and Shay, you guys did that cover too of a Glad You Exist. I'm going to put it up here so everyone can go and click and watch it. That was amazing. You guys got feedback too. That's I know. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, a place you want to travel when we are allowed, I can say. Ireland. Greece. Ooh. Okay, and since this is Justin Bieber's birth week, I had to ask, favorite song by JB? Oh my gosh, um, all of them. No, <laughs> ah, um, I really like anything, anyone, his new one. I don't know why, this is the only song that's coming to my head, One Less Lonely Girl. <laughs> oh, do you guys oh, remember the One Less Lonely Girl when he would have his concerts and the girls would go up on stage? Exactly why I thought of it. <laughs> yeah, that was like every girl's dream. Oh my gosh. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today on Country with Selena. It was such a pleasure to talk with you ladies, and I can't wait to see what's next in store for Jess and Tay. Thank you so thank much you. for having us. I'll drink a beer if I've had a long time.